Butler, and welcome to a beautiful day in sunny Florida. Episode of I Ain't Saying, I'm just saying with the Rock With Me Nation. Before we begin, y'all already know how we get down. Like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. Why? Because if you know me, grow me. And sharing is caring. What, what are we doing today? What's today's episode? I was watching 33 Questions with Chillmonger. Shout out to Chillmonger and everything. Y'all make sure y'all be catching up. Comment book reviews, movie reviews, Disney Plus reviews, Star Wars reviews. Like, my man is all over the place with it. He does an excellent job. Y'all make sure y'all go shout out. Y'all go check out Chillmonger. But he was asking a question today. Five great panelists. And one of the questions was in regards to Black Panther 2, how it should be handled, how it should be treated. Let me just go ahead and throw my hat into the ring. Doom War. I do not know what was wrong with the deadliest of the species and the Doom War storyline. Let's play this. Okay, so Chadwick Boseman has passed. We notice there are plenty of us still hurt by this. We also still understand the significance of this character. Marvel, I now don't know how Marvel went to bed on this one. Yes, I do. But how to pay homage to the character, how to do the character right, how to respect the actor. It's nothing cheap about it. Marvel, Kevin Feige, literally have, and we were going to make sure that the Black Panther, we literally could have turned this into a three-movie trilogy. How? Open it up. We don't have Black Panther unmasked. We have him being invited to a meeting with Doom. I mean, a meeting with Namor. Tanaka Huerta. Why Tanaka Huerta is not playing Hector Ayala, the white tiger? I have no idea. <laughs> That's not what this video is about. T'Challa. Full mask. Is supposed to meet up with Namor. It doesn't go down like that. He's ambushed by Doom. Now, in the movie, we wouldn't know exactly who ambushed him. All we... Visual effects, right? We telling the story, right? We wouldn't know, the fans wouldn't know, but the script would lay it out. T'Challa gets a, a full blast in the face trying to protect the door Melange. Hell, you could say he got injured trying to protect Anika. You could say he got protected. You could say he got injured trying to protect the Koye. It's so many Medora Lodge. You could have pulled one. He could have got protected trying to protect uh, Io. You could have pulled one. You chose not to. It literally plays out in the comments like this. He gets blasted, saving Adora Milaje. And Adora Milaje gets saved, gets killed, saving him. See how this works? Black, black man stand up for black woman. Black woman stand up for black man. Everybody's happy. Get back to Wakanda. He's in a stasis chamber with tape all over his face. They literally did this in Night Rider. Me and my wife are binge watching Knight Rider right now on Netflix. Do you know they had two, two different actors play Michael? <laughs> We've seen this before. Why y'all making it so hard? It tells me you didn't read the comics. Dead ass. It tells me you didn't read the comics. It tells me you either didn't read the comics or you don't care about the comics. And the comics is where we get inspiration from from the character. You've actually been getting a a plethora of storylines derived from the comics. This would have been the prime opportunity. The Doom War storyline. Shorty Letitia Wright undergoes the trials to become the Black Panther. We could have got our very first real good look at Bass. The young lady that's getting ready to play Bass in Lord and Thor Love and Thunder, she could have did this in Black Panther too. We didn't even have to introduce Moreland, because I know that's what took place. But we didn't have to introduce Moreland. Y'all want to keep this thing stuck on Namor? We could have had the plot literally centered center around Shorty fighting Namor. That's what we could have did. Now watch this. You getting ready to introduce Fantastic Four. You could have introduced him in Black Panther 3. After they've already made their movie debut in their own movie. You could have. You're not as smart as you think, Kevin Feige. Honestly, you got me walking around here, and I'm smarter than you. Way more vision than you, and that's crazy. See how I just did this? You never thought about it. Or you thought about it, and you just had malicious intentions. <laughs> but that's how everybody gets satisfied. So in, in the second Black Panther film, T'Challa gets blasted in the face. We put him in a stasis chamber. Well, Ramunda is praying over him. Ramunda and the kill. Yeah, go ahead. Make it do what it do. We ain't got to put Storm. We ain't got to put Aurora in this thing. Should he go undergoes to take the mantle? Don't know how, cause 
I guess we're going to have to let Wakabi out of jail because Zuri is clearly dead. <laughs> so Wakabi being the only other person left to help her understand what the rituals mean because Zuri did. T'Chaka did. I did. Right. See where we at with this one? So we're going to let Wakabi up out of jail, the traitor. T'Challa's lifelong best friend. Makes no sense. But we're going to let Wakabi up out of jail because he's going to have to help Shuri go through the... Um, the trials help her tell her what she's going to have to do because she's never done this before he oversaw this with t'challa yes it's like this in the comic so she goes through the trials she doesn't get the panther powers but she was she's smart because y'all got her like that smart as a whip in the story right yeah okay so play into it say hey we're gonna even up the playing field against wakanda you bringing in bucky let's let it tell sam wilson is supposed to be showing up hell bring go ahead and bring Nick Fury in have them at the end of Black Panther 2 attack Atlantis with the Bozeman helicarrier. T'Challa could still be in stasis. He could. But he's still alive. And we bring him back for Black Panther 3 when they take on Doom. This ain't hard. Y'all made this hard for no reason. No reason whatsoever. And yes, Brandon Ruth is the exact, there is no, well, this, that, then the third. Brandon Ruth is the exact same Superman in the exact same universe as Christopher Reed. Thank you. I've, I've been pronouncing his name wrong for years. Of Reed. Doesn't take away from the fact that Brandon Roof replaced him. And I'm going to say this, and it may hurt some feelings. I don't remember America making a big deal out of recasting Superman. I don't remember anybody that looked like Superman making a big deal out of recasting the role that Christopher Reeve just left on the table. I don't even remember Christopher Reeve family coming out speaking against the role Reeve being recast. Nobody uttered a word. I'm 54. I'm telling you, nobody said a damn thing, which is crazy how they got so much to say right now. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Peace.